What's up everyone, you're watching Eric Games Daily, and welcome to Staxel. So let me explain, I went to record a Shadow of War video, and um, every, like, I even spent like an hour and a half prepping. I got some Urks that I thought would be great in the online pit fights, I put everyone in there, and they all got slaughtered, so I didn't want to waste your guys' time. I thought that this would be a better use of my time, showing you a game that I've been enjoying lately. Now, the reason why I've been playing Staxel is because I wanted a different type of game. I wanted a calmer game, you know. I've been playing Shadow of War and Monster Hunter, and it's just fight, mush, uh, uh, bat button mashing, god. Can I talk? <laughs> um, just, I don't know, it was really chaotic, and trust me, I love those games, I just wanted a break. And so, I saw that people were, like, talking about Staxel, and it's a fairly new game, I think it's an alpha, that's, I think that's what the A stands for. Um, either way, I see a ton of potential for this game, there's so much that they could do with it. Um, I even shot them some ideas, I highly doubt they'll be used, but, I don't know, I thought that they were kinda cool. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this game. We're gonna start a new world. Um, EGD1, just so I know in case I make another one later. Um, oh yeah, it's also multiplayer, and it seems like it's very early on, but there's still a lot to do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and launch. So, this game, a lot of people have been saying that this is like Minecraft meets Stardew Valley. It's... I don't know, a lot of people have been making a ton of comparisons from this game to other games. I hope I said that right. But yeah, uh, you can definitely compare this game to a lot of other games. I think that it takes a lot of inspiration from both of those games, um, or at least it seems to. But because you you start off, you are given a house, you're given a pet, you are given a farm without really any explanation, and um, you also have the free will to build wherever you want, to move if you want to. Um, in my game that I've been playing uh, off camera, I've, I've already moved and built uh, another area, and I'm probably going to end up moving again because I need a little bit more land, but I don't know. I, I'm really loving this game, and for some reason my character is not popping up. Uh, let's see if I can get it to pop up. There we go. So, um, yeah, right now my guy looks like a girl. Uh, that's fine. So, we have, uh, three species. We have elf, uh, elf, human, and Kaith. It's kind of hard to see. I think that's like a cat person. I made a cat person my first time. Um, but yeah, we're going with guy. Animation one, animation two. I don't really see any differences here. But, uh, I'm a really white dude, so, uh... I'll go ahead and just go with that. I'm really not that tan. Actually, they are tanner than me. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Let's just get a hairdo. Uh, do you have, like, flat hair? There, with the hair and the sticking up in the back, right? That's, that's how I look when I wake up in the morning. Um, I always choose black hair even though my hair is, like, brown. You know what? Let's go with brown. Why not? I always, or I like these eyes. I think they're better. I got blue eyes in real life. Let's go ahead with that sweatshirt. I'm hoping that this is all coming out okay. My computer is definitely not set up for this type of thing. I just took, uh, spent an hour trying to get this set up just so I can make this video. I wanted to come out with the video tonight, but I felt like I was going to waste your time with the other video, and trust me, I have an idea on, on how I can, you know, fix this whole, you know, here's a video, oh, everyone dies, that was kind of a waste of time thing. Um, I have a way to fix it, and it's gonna take a lot of work on my part, but I'm down for it. But I thought that I would just show you guys this game, and maybe you guys can give it a try, and let me know what you guys think of the game, because I love it. And you could tell that it's really new, because there's only one pair of pants. I guarantee that they'll come out with um, more later on. I actually like the way I look right now. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's accept. And you guys might hear hear my keyboard. I, I try to have everything set up to where my mic will pick me up and nothing else up, but um, no guarantees, no guarantees. I'm still fairly new. So this girl is called Farm Fan. You're a new face. We don't get many of those around here. Uh, oh yeah, it's right click. Um, you must be Lil EMC312. Yep, and you can't change your name. It's whatever your Steam name is, so uh, yeah. Um, on behalf of all of us here uh, in Staxel, welcome. I'm farm fan, by the way. I've been sent to make sure you know how to take care of the farm properly. Um, that was you, right? The one taking over the old farm? Yep, that's me. 
Excellent, just as I thought. So this part is a little, I don't know, it, it, it kind of drags on a little too long for uh, my taste. But after that, you're kind of free to do whatever the hell you want. Um, we need to make sure you, you know what you're doing. Then we can give you a farming license. All right, give it to me. I know what I'm doing. I've done it before. Sounds perfect. Glad to hear it. There are other options. I'm just being nice because I try to be nice. <laughs> um, first, I'll take you on a brief tour of the village. Then we'll head over to the farm. Got it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll quickly start to feel familiar. Oh, and if you manage to get lost, you can check your map anytime. Follow me. All right, so uh, yeah, this is the little office that you start in, or it's not necessarily an office. It's this big ass building. So yeah, everything is really cool. Like it has a ton of flowers and stuff. There's bugs and um, I, I hope that they come out with more wildlife later on. But yeah, there's like bugs and you could go fishing and you can farm and you can build. Uh, I just love the way that everything looks. And this, this guy, Oscar, he's kind of an asshole. What have we here? Another troublemaker? Oscar's the name. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Uh, oh, and stay off the grass. Keep the mud t uh, to the farm. Bitch, I'm on the grass. What are you gonna do? Bastard. Alright, well, my audio cut out of my headphones. I hope you guys still have audio. <laughs> but yeah, so let's talk to Farm Fan now that we caught up. This is the local tavern. It's a pretty nice place to hang out after a long day of work. Rowan, the owner, can be a good source of local rumors. Uh, you should head on in and talk to him. I think he has something for you. I'll be waiting right here. No, you won't. And I say that for a reason that you'll find out in a minute. Oh, you are here. I thought I had to build a house for you. In my other game, this dude disappeared and I had to build him a house or something. I don't know. Something happened. And this is Rowan. Oh, I don't think I've seen you around here before. New in town, eh? I'm sure you'll fit right in. Here, this is on the house. Gave me a muggle sap. Uh, think of it as our welcome to the town. Really? That's what you give me? I hope to see you around here uh, every now and again. By the way, and perhaps this might seem like an odd question, but is there a particular type of animal you like? I like cats. Cats are super cute. How odd of me. Uh, to say something like that. A merchant came by uh, the other day whose aunt's friend's sister's son had a litter. <laughs> the son had a litter of cats? Good lord. Um, if you come back once you're done with the or done with farm fan, I might just have one for you. Good luck. Alright, let me get out of here. Come on. Alright, so now that we talked to him, farm fan, ready to move on? Yep, lead the way. Next up, let's head to the supermarket. Which is right over there. I'll race you there, bitch. Got a head start. But yeah. Um, I've been having performance issues lately. And I have everything... Kind of leveled out on my part. So I don't think it's me. Again, I, I think this game is really early on. But your computer uh, may differ. I mean, what's so hard about rendering a bunch of squares? I, I, I just don't get it. But my computer has been... I, I don't know if it's my computer. Like, I really don't think it's my computer. I have a, I have a pretty okay computer, but as you can tell, there are butterflies here and stuff. You'll find our, all sorts of bugs. Um, I'm actually going to loot this place later on to get a bunch of money and some extra stuff. You can. I didn't get in trouble by anyone yet. All right, so let's talk to her. Let's try to get through this. Um, there's things like, like food, seeds, seeds, and tools, and other handy items. While you were busy chatting with Rowan, I popped over to the merchant. Um, they're just on the other side of the town square. They don't just sell wares, they'll buy things off you too. Just need to place them in the, place the item on the sell spot and click it. Yeah, uh, she gave me beetroot seed. Uh, th those seeds should come in handy, I think. We'll need to head to the farm so that you can actually make use of them, though. This might be a good time to memorize the path to and from the village. So yeah, the the tutorial is pretty simple and kind of odd. I mean, uh, I don't know. I hope they definitely add on to it and stuff and make it more, uh more user friendly but pretty much you have the supermarket here it's a shop that has a lot of different things in it and i love this game because the shelves you could actually put shit on i don't know why but that like blew my mind and then these are also shops out here their uh, wares change every day i think and then you could just put stuff on here then you click the box and it sells for you that orange building over there is another shop but it's, it's mostly like building 
um, stuff. So let's go catch up with Farm Fan. Actually, since we're going by, I might as well show you anyways. So yeah, a bunch of uh, building blocks and stuff for you to use. Um, you can also craft them. I swear, I like never craft because everything, everything, the, the, the crafting in this game is kind of a pain, or at least I thought it was, because you have to like set things down, then you have to click it once at a time. You can't build things in like a bundle. You know, I can't make ten things at once. I have to make ten things individually, which is kind of a pain. But uh, we have come to the house or the farm that uh, is ours apparently. So we kind of have a walkway. We have all of this area to farm. I mean, a lot of area to farm. I think this used to be a barn for, like, a, a cow or something. I definitely fix this up and make this look better. I think I destroy it, take out the floor, replace the dirt. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot of stuff. I don't know how much we're gonna do today, because I just wanted to show you guys the game, kind of give you my two cents and why I love this game so much. So, uh, so here it is, your new home. It might be a bit daunting at first, but you'll settle in. You're a little ways outside of the village compared to the rest of us. Hopefully your pet should keep you from feeling too lonely once it arrives. If not, we're just down the road and always happy to chat. Um, even though they don't talk much, I I've tried. Uh, perhaps we should start by heading out to the fields. Why? She's gonna kill me. Watch. We're gonna get out there. She's gonna hit me over the head with the shovel. Oh, you took five steps. These are the fields. You mean my front lawn? Um, you can hoe the grass to create t uh, tilled soil to plant seeds. If you hold down the button, you can charge uh, to till a larger area. Give it a shot and plant the seeds I gave you from earlier. If you if you lost them, you can buy some more from one of the merchants. Oh, she did give me a hoe. She gave me a hoe. So one, two, how many seeds do I have? I have one seed. Uh, I don't even have a watering can. You better have one in your back pocket. Good job. Um, here's a little something to celebrate your success. A watering can and 200 petals. Petals are gold in this game. Um, you can use the watering can to water your crops. Of course I can. Weathered crops don't grow. Go on, give it a shot. So here we go. Let's uh, water that one spot I really didn't need. Um, looks like you've got the hang of it. I do. Here, another reward. 200 more petals. Thank you. That's really not a lot, but I know how to make money, so uh, don't worry about me. I think it's going to take quite a while for the crop to grow. In fact, I'm already starting to feel a bit, a bit thirsty. A note to Rowan. Could you take this note to Rowan and bring me back something to drink? Uh, might be good to see if he has a task for you while you're at it. Alright, I'll be waiting right here when you get back. Sure you will. I know you by now. You don't stand in one place for long. And this is uh, Rowan's big ass I don't know, I think it's like a tavern or something. What's up, dude? Good day, little EMC. Is that note for me? Hmm. So, farm fan sent you to fetch her some more sap. She drinks way too much of that stuff. Hmm. Uh, tell you what. Run a little errand for me and I'll see what I can do. Nothing major or anything. Uh, just hand over, or hand that over to Leaf at the general store and he'll know what, what you need. It's an order I've been waiting on just under a week. Um, as you can probably see, I've been too busy to leave the place unattended. No, you've been standing here for all eternity. You don't go anywhere, Rowan. Everyone comes to you. You just stand right there and look into the back room. People come in and then you turn around and go, hey, and then you turn back around and stare into the room. Trust me, I've been here too long. But all right, let's go give this... What's this one? This is a farm registration. Rowan's orders. All right, so let's talk to, this is Leaf. Hence the whole green thing. Hi there. I run the local store. The name's Leaf or Life, something like that. Uh, do stop by. Ah, so Rowan has finally sent someone to pick up his order. Certainly took him long enough. Whatever it is, it's starting to smell a bit funny. I'll be happy to let it go. Rowan's parcel. Good lord. By the way, congratulations on your new pet. Must be nice to have such a good companion. Um, it can get pretty lonely out here. Um, you look a bit confused. Well, never mind. I have something for you. Food bowl and pet food. These will definitely come in handy now that, uh, now that you have a pet. We sell a lot of useful stuff here in the store. Feel free to browse the shelves and buy whatever you want anytime. Something or other. <laughs> I accidentally clicked. But for now, You'd better get that parcel out of here. I'm not sure how much longer I can stand it. <laughs> so let's go take this stinky parcel to Rowan. 
Ah, this overpowering aroma, you have my parcel. I can't express just how much I've been looking forward to this. Uh, the entrancing fragrance, god. Uh, the incomparable flavors. Alright dude, just take it. Hmm. You want to know what's in the package? It's a special type of fermented fish. Gross. There's only a few few islands out there that produce it, so it's pretty hard to come by. I like to tease Leaf uh, a little by having it sent to the store first. But enough about that. I can imagine you're eager to get back to your pet. Hmm. Oh, I didn't tell you? I've already sent your, your pet over to the farm. A letter to farm fan. Alright, so make sure you give it to her for me, okay? Don't worry about the sap she sent for you. I've already dealt with that. You should hurry... On back to meet your new companion. Remember, um, you're welcome here anytime. It usually gets a bit livier. Actually, I actually haven't done this, but um, it usually gets a bit livier, something like that, um, in the evening. So it might be a nice time to stop by. You probably shouldn't stay out too late, though. It's a good. It's it's good to get back to bed and sleep at night, anyways. There's really no. Um, no consequence of going home to sleep in your bed. Like, if you stay up till midnight, you actually pass out. But I've yet to notice any bad things that happen when you pass out. So, uh, let's just go ahead and give this to her. So where's my sap? You don't have it. Ron assured you that, that this was all you needed. Oh, um, by the way, is, is that letter for me? Let me just take it off you. And then she reads the letter. Well, now, he didn't have to be so blunt about it. Eh, don't cry. Or you can. Go cry me a river. Oh well, nothing for it, I guess. You're lucky I'm kind-hearted person, or I might have been- Or I might have withheld your pet in retaliation, bitch. Give me my pet. There you go. I suppose I should teach you how to properly play- No, you shouldn't- I already know how to- You put it on the ground. I know how to do it. So, I got a tip for those of you who choose cats. Um, I put my cat outside and he got super freaking depressed. Um, so we're gonna put our cat indoors and the cat just pops up when... Alright, I gotta get rid of some of these boxes. Where's my hammer? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. As you can tell, my house is a, a piece of shit right now, but we will fix it up. And you can sell these boxes. These boxes actually sell for uh, quite a bit of money. So let me just pick these all up. And you can tell that there's like holes in the floor, broken windows, yeah. So you gotta fix up the house, missing blocks and all that shit. So we're gonna go ahead and stick my pet's house right there and the cat pops out. No, where are you going? Missy, come here. I gotta rename you. You don't look anything like him, but Simba. Simba is in all my games. If I could have a cat, it's gonna be Simba. My cat's orange, but uh, I'll take this cat. So you could pet your cat and then I'm going to Put the food here and fill up the food bowl. So now I'm already out of food. Uh, we have a wardrobe. I'm gonna go ahead and set that in here real quick. So yeah, really cool. And then I'm assuming that you get clothes later and you can change your clothes in here too. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab all this. It's good money. Good money. You even have a little bathroom. Yeah, they have toilets. Oh, check this out. And then I hit spacebar, and it actually flushes. <laughs> so you could actually flush your freaking toilet. And there is kind of a clipping problem. I mean, I hope that they fix that later on. Unless I'm supposed to just stick it in the middle of the room. Watch. Let's let's see what happens. Can I set it here without it clipping? Um. I think. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna set it there. It clips a little bit, but what are you gonna do, you know? And Simba! So yeah, if you needed to like reset your pet, you could break it and, and pick it back up. So let's talk to her, try to finish this. Ah, oh, good job. Are you, are you sure you're happy with that rotation? Um, remember, if you change your mind, you could use a hammer to break it. Uh, the pet will be safely stored. If you hold down the button while placing, you can rotate it first. Yep, I know all that. Uh, pet food you can get, uh, supermarket sells many of things, I know that's where I have to get a bunch of tools, so, um, for now you can place the bowl you got earlier and fill it, already did it, let me know once it's done, great, now your pet should be good for a while, actually the food only lasts a day, um, or at least it seems to, you know what, I'm tired of waiting on that crop, let's go ahead and use magic water, so yeah, I was trying to get through the tutorial and it does take a little bit, but I kind of just wanted to show you guys the game, 
And, uh, yeah, this is the first and last time I've ever seen magic water in this game. But now we have one beat. You did it, not as hard as it sounds. Uh, the time has finally come to give you a farm reg uh, registration letter. So awesome, and I got two more, or 200 more petals. So you should head to town, uh, to the town hall and file it with Max as soon as possible. In exchange, you'll get a special package uh, to help jump jumpstart your farm. As for me, I think it's about time I get out of your way. You can always look me up in town. Good luck. So yeah, we are done. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse at this game that I've been having a shit ton of fun in. Literally, you can lose yourself in here just trying to make yourself a new house or get your farm all cleaned up or collecting bugs for money, which I do. If you collect bugs for about two and a half days, you'll come out with a little over 10k of, uh, of petals. So if you're hurting on money and don't have any apiaries with uh, bees, then yeah. But, those are, but that's for you guys who are already playing the game. Now, if you did like this video, please hit that like button, and that'll let me know that you guys would like to see more, because if you do want to see more, then I will definitely like live stream it, or I can just record more videos, and maybe even come out with some tip videos that I figured out while messing around on my own. But uh, to finish this, where did it go? Farm register. Okay, I had it before she gave it to me. I'm just gonna put all of this in my inventory. Let's go talk to uh, Max. Max! Max, where are you? Max, are you in here? No. Freaking jerk. He has such a big building and there's only a tiny ass room. Have you seen Max? Oscar? I don't even know where Max lives. Well, I was hoping to, uh, yeah, as you could tell, I got a little rendering problem going on. Oh, I should show you the map. So here's the map. There's Max. That's where he lives. So the map is pretty cool. There is a way to make it bigger if you guys think the map is too small, but that's a whole thing for another day. So let's go run over to Max real quick, point myself in the direction. Let's go ahead and turn this in and we will be done for this video. Again, just wanted to show you guys this really cute game that has a ton of potential. I cannot wait to see where this game goes. Now that I think about it, um, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm the mayor of this little town. Yes, you are. I could tell by the way you're dressed. Oh, is that letter, uh, is that your farm registration letter? How nice. Let, um, let me just take that off for your filing. In return, you get your license and some very handy items. Do you want to turn in your registration letter? Yes, please. Marvelous. Here's your license. So there we go, we have a license, and it gives us a shovel and some wooden blocks. Now that you're a fully licensed farmer, uh, you can finally get those stray cattle out of our hands. Alright, so here we go. We're about to get some cows. I'm not really sure I'm the best person to teach you these things. I'd suggest you go see Eliza. Uh, she'll help you out with all the parts you need. You'll probably find her hanging around the building store. If not, your map might be uh, able to help you locate her. So come and see me once it's all done, and we'll get you some cows. So yeah, so there's kind of a, t a tutorial, but it does suddenly stop, and then you could always go talk to him, and that's one way to get new NPCs. Otherwise, uh, trust me, you'll find new uh, new NPCs as you go on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys give this game a shot. And if you do, let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you like this video, please hit that like and leave a comment letting me know that you would like to see more of this game, and hopefully there will be an update soon to help with this uh, rendering issue that I'm having. It wasn't too bad in this video, but I mean, if I just keep walking straight, eventually um, things will go invisible and not render completely. Right now it's pretty smooth, but as you can tell, further on out there, it is a little choppy, but yeah. So far, this game is awesome, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Game Daily.